Welcome to TIPCO Data Virtualization Data Fabric Capabilities. We'll show you how TIPCO Data Virtualization can optimize data management by sharing different data assets to different users and use cases. We will accelerate time to value by using three different data distributions, a cloud data source, a local database source, and a local file system. We'll deploy and distribute selected data set as a web service and as a database service. Let's take a look on how it can be done within the development environment called TIPCO Data Virtualization Studio. Within the shared workspace, I already created a project called Data Fabric. The result of the project will be a data set published and distributed in two different services to our consumers. The project consists of three data sources, the existing local Postgres database, a cloud AWS database, and a local file system. I created three folders in order to follow the data virtualization architecture layered approach. On the first layer, called the physical layer, we already have four existing data views coming from three different data sources. These data sets will be used on the business layer to create views for specific use cases or business. Let's create a business view which shows all order info coming from the four different data sets. Create view. Order data. We select the different views from the physical layer. order details, orders, and product. Now we have to join these four views, order ID with order ID, customer ID, with customer ID, and product ID with product ID. Now we can say grid, I would like to use all tables okay and save now in the presentation layer we will create a few that we would like to share with our consumers we say create new view order overview okay then we drag the order data view from the business layer to the canvas and now we can select the columns that we would like to use for this presentation. I will deselect some columns. Save. Finally, we will create the two different distributions for our consumers, a web service and a database service. I say publish. I will start with a database service, add composite service. Order overview. Now the web service. Publish. So now we have both a database service and a web service. Let's use scroll to access the database service. Create new alias. Here I have to select TIPCO data virtualization. The name of the data source is order overview overview. Successful. And I can say connect. I can go to my table, open the overview, I can go to content and you can see that I can access the actual database service. Now we'll access the web service. We go to web service, I say open, I go to my REST app, select the HTTP endpoint, open my browser, pass the URL. As you can see, 
This is the same data set, but then distributed via a web service. So what we did, we consumed four different data sets coming from three different data sources, a cloud database, a local database, and a file system. We joined these different data sets and we distributed them as a web service and as a database service. So the power of typical data virtualization is to optimize data management by accessing any data source, manage, deploy, and distribute various data sets for the consumer of your choice. Thank you.